good. You know, you guys can check the feed. Exactly what you're saying. The Christian church teaches you that Adam and Eve was the only ones in the garden that came, killed Abel. I had the very same question right before I came to the knowledge of the truth. I asked my mom. She's a, she's a Adam and Baptist Christian. Exactly. The Bible says that. So you went into God, created the heavens and the earth. So 
read Genesis 1 and 1 first, and then uh, we're going to break it down. It's Genesis 1 and 1. Hey, let these two be, be the readers. Okay. This is Genesis chapter 1 and 1. In the beginning, the Most High created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, all right, read it verbatim. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So who was that God that created the heavens and the earth? It was the powers. When you read the word God, the word in Hebrew is Alahayim, which means the powers, which means plural, right? So now give me John 1 and 1, right? And y'all got something to bring to, to, to our brother to come with it? Give me give us the word. The word, 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 right, right. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna hold it for a minute. John 1 and 1. It's John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right. So that's talking about who won the world called Jesus Christ. That that was him and the angels that began creation. That's what the powers meant. See, the most high. He is not even mentioned until Genesis the second chapter when you see the Lord all caps, right? That's the that's the that's the supreme power. But he had his son ordained, he created everything, right? Let's go to uh let's go to Corinthians. Y'all know what I want. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, right? <laughs> I think start around uh start around 50. It's first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Hold on. This is John chapter 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. chapter 1 verse 20 and God said let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life he said let the waters bring forth abundantly the living creatures that have life so we all living creatures right it's not just talking about animals he's talking about everything he created he created abundantly he made more than one right. so that whole thing about it just being one man and one woman like you said that's not what the Bible says so when you really read the book of Genesis, it's telling you that there was many of every kind of whatever he created, man and female. Keep going. See, that's why white, black, Chinese, Japanese, warrior, yeah. Russian, why so many different people. Right, yeah. right. Well, it, he because he created everything in abundance. Go ahead. In fowl, they may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moved, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. Now, hit, now go down, I think, to verse, where you at? Okay, keep jump down to where it says male and female that's what he was talking about right made with them 27 yep matter of fact started 26 this is genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and god said let us make man in our image 
after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the earth and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. Right. So they say what? Male and female created them to have dominion over the earth. All right. Now these were what? Living souls. So how did he give them the ability? What, what did he do to give them the ability to dominion means rule over, right? He gave them a quickening spirit, which means the spirit of understanding to know how to govern all the creatures and all the animals, right? right? Now, go to your point in 2nd Ezra. Uh, this is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 6. That's, that's what you call a, a, a apocrypha? Yeah. Right. Go ahead. We'll, get, we'll deal with that in a minute. Go ahead. 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest lord over all thy creatures. See, Adam, who he made lord over all thy creatures. See, Adam is a particular people. At that time, it was called the generation of Adam. He did. I mean, this, this, this is also, this is maybe in the second chapter. Just type in the generation of Adam. I can't call it exactly the mind right now. Let me, let me Hold on, let him finish. I got you. Let him finish and then ask you a question. It says, of them come we all. And the people also whom thou hast heard. Of him come we all. So everybody comes from Adam. Per se, when he's talking about Adam, he's talking about uh, we all come from the ground. Adam goes back to the word of a donkey, right? Everybody comes from Adam, right? Not only Adam from the ground, but the seed uh, 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 of the generations of Adam go back to Ham, Shem, and Jack. These, these were the... Uh, uh, after the flood, right? The, these uh, people that you see inhabiting the earth now, every nation goes back to either Ham, Sham, or Jack. You go ahead and ask your question. Sorry. We, we gotta get with your friend. Second answer six. Second answer six. And no, six. no, uh, he was saying something about, uh, okay, this is, this is what I gotta say. Because the Bible says that Adam came from Africa because Adam came from Africa. Because the um, people that came before Adam and Eve, because Adam and Eve wasn't the first two people God created. Right? What, 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 what I mean, chapter and verse is it? Genesis 1. If you go to Genesis 1. So Adam and Eve wasn't the first. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Then Adam, Adam was, was God put the man who had formed in the garden. Say what? You remember Genesis 2 and 7. You put that? Genesis 2 and 7 is talking about when he gave. Go ahead and read Genesis 2 and 7. Because Genesis 2 and 7, remember, we, we just read that it said the first Adam was made a living soul. The second Adam was made a quickening spirit. Do you know what that means? Quickening means to change. No, quickening means uh, understanding. Meaning he. Yeah, because. Let's, 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 go to, uh, let's go to Genesis 2. Genesis 2 and 7. Go, go, go back to uh, 2 Corinthians. 15 and 45 in the blue letter. And we're going to look up the word quickening. Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord God formed a man of the dust of the ground. Right. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Breathed into his nostrils the, the law was given. Right. Man. That's what that's what quickens you. Okay. Right? Right. Get John 6 right here. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened The flesh profited nothing. So when men were first formed, they didn't have any understanding, right. any laws, any government. You know, men men was just pretty much like beasts, right? right? right. Except Adam. Right. No, no. Before even 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 before, you know, because you gotta understand, he had already formed men, but he didn't give them understanding until later. That, see, see that's, that's that's the question I have because what I'm reading. What I read is that he separated. He it's separated the sons of Adam? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, okay, say this right here. Okay, so life beginning, let's say Jerusalem, Africa, the continent of Africa, or whatever, the land of Canaan. And the different parts of Canaan, say right here in South in South Canaan, God created people outside of this way. And then over here, say Jerusalem over here another land man. He formed more people over here and this was when he chose Adam. Because he breathed well, into he said, but he breathed, but the, he breathed I, I get what you're saying. When he when he, yeah Adam 
was a separate, it was a separation. At that time, they was known as the sun. When he breathed the life, when we read reading, that's when that was, those were the sons of God. The ones that have the understanding are known as the sons of God. And that's what I'm saying. Because right. The one so he said, can we get the scripture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let, let us finish the scripture. And then give me, give me uh, uh, 32 and 8. 32 and 8. This is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened, the flesh puffed the nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So when he say he breathed, the, he gave man the oral laws, right. but particularly Adam, but he has separated this particular Adam, which Adam was a whole generation of people. They were known, what we call as the Adamites. Right. All nations was known as the Adamites, but he had a certain group out of those nations that he gave rule over all the other nations. Right. You see? Right. And that was... <laughs> That was really who you call Jesus Christ. Huh? <laughs> Say that again now. That was really who you call Jesus Christ. Uh, what? That spirit that he put into Adam, <clears throat> that was Jesus Christ. The spirit. The spirit is like the word of God itself. Right? So you're gonna go, you're gonna go too deep, man. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not with you. <laughs> well, let's get the scriptures to back up what we're saying. Because because of the, what, what you're yeah. saying. What yeah, because you gotta deal with the milk. You got to deal with the milk. And this is like, when you go into Genesis, it's a lot of uh, allegorical, it's a lot of uh, parabolic and symbolic. It is. Just like trees, right? When it say, when he told, when he told Adam and Eve not to eat of the fruit of the tree in the center of the garden, what was he talking about? Sex. Huh? I thought it was sex. No. What was the tree? Her? Who? The tree? The what was the, the, the tree? What was the, the tree and what was the fruit? Okay. I think the forbidden fruit that he was that we talk about. Let's deal with the tree first. The what, tree, what was the, the tree? The tree was a person. Give me James, you know what I want. How do you know that? What proves that? You can you because we like I said, we we held accountable for everything that we say. Okay. So you can say that, but did the Lord say that? Is can you prove it in his in his scriptures? Basically, that that the tree that the tree was man? Because the reason I'm going back, the reason I'm saying Question, question though. Can you prove it in the scriptures? Yeah. Where? I'm going to tell you. Right here. Okay. Say, say you come No, right we want a chapter and a verse. That's right. how we deal. Go ahead. If you can't get it, we'll give it to you. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Mark. Yeah, Mark. It's Mark 8 and 24. And he looked up and said, I see man as trees walking. Man as trees walking. So that was a, that was, when he told him not to eat of the tree, of the fruit in the garden, that was a nation of people that we were not to was mingle, mingle amongst. That was I know that's what you said, but why are you saying it? We're talking about dealing with the scriptures. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, but we got people watching too. So we got to deal with the scriptures. No, you're not on there. They just facing us. It's facing us, bro. That's what I'm saying. So I told you that's what I was trying to establish. Like how we deal, we can't just sit up here like. We can do that off camera, but this is a ministry, that, and it's a way that we have to do this. It's orders. Right, I got you. The, you know what these scriptures and verses is in this Bible? Mm -hmm. They call precepts. Mm -hmm. precepts, is, precepts. precepts means orders. orders. So mm -hmm. when we say something pertaining to the Lord's judgment, gotta we got to establish the order. Because yeah. we ain't about what we think and how we feel. Right, because we're going to be judged according to what we say about the Lord's right. word. Right, I understand. That's that. all, and I ain't trying to, you know. Yeah, I understand you know. 100%. Okay, so now we established, so you was correct on that. So now you was talking about what's the fruit. So, so when he said the tree, that so is. So if that was the tree, if the tree was man, what was the fruit? The sex. No. Kids, fruit? children? No, no, no. None See? of that. No. The, the, the fruit was, uh, the fruit was an understanding. The fruit was a way of life that he gave unto Eve that she accepted. It was like a philosophy, right? And she clinged on unto that philosophy. And that's what corrupted her mind. She got begot. She the knowledge of wickedness. Right. See? Because the scriptures say what? You know a tree by its fruit. Right. So Symbolically, whenever we speak, we're producing fruit. 
Right? right? We're, 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 we're bringing forth fruit out of our mouths. And that fruit can be good fruit or bad fruit. Or bad fruit. So what the serpent gave which is a man, yeah. you agree? Was a man, right, right. But it was a particular man. And I think it was a it was man a, it was a, it was a particular man. It was the spirit of Satan. It was the spirit of Satan, okay, but Satan, that's exactly right. It was the spirit of Satan, but the spirit of Satan works within a particular nation of people. See, there's three cracks, when we talk about the Adamites, right? And I should have said this earlier. You know how the classification of men was broke down? Mm-hmm. How? After the flood, okay. You know, the people that were... Born, I'm talking about before, the, even before the flood. Well, like I said, with Genesis 1, and 26, and 2 and 7, that was the beginning of the separation right there. But what was the classifications of people? Because they were all Adam. Because he said, we all come of Adam. So every, every okay, okay, everybody so was Adam. Adam, it was the, like the well, whole... Huh? Did we all come from... No, that was... Uh, Second Israel, right? Right. Really but that was home. after. But that was after the flood. See, the people that were before the flood, they all died because it was only eight people. Yeah, they did. But that. we dealing. We what well, we're dealing with. You, you see, so you jumping around. I understand what you're saying, but we're talking about even before Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and Noah. There was already classifications well, yeah, was, of men. Was, was. That's what, but you know why I was classifications of men? Because he told Adam and Eve not to deal with them men who right. he called trees right. and serpent. Not those were a nation of people to, for us not to deal with. Right. You see? Right. So what I'm trying to establish for you is the classifications of men. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. You got the sons of God, you got the sons of man, and you got the sons of the wicked. Right. Which we talking about the spirit of Satan works within the the spirit of Satan works within the sons of the wicked, right? Give me Second Thessalonians the second chapter. Be quick. Hold your thought real quick, because I just want to establish that order. Second, that order is in the scriptures that the, his coming is after the working of Satan, right? There's a man of sin. There's a man he created to be the wicked. That 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 was always done from the beginning. Go ahead. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and let's start at, let's start at 3 this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first right which it said let no man deceive you right but we know the spirit of Satan do, does what work Satan means adversary which we we equate Satan with what the devil. The word devil means what deceive, deceiver. deceiver. So it said, let no man deceive you. So it has to be a spirit in man deceive, to deceive. work deception. Right. Okay, go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed. And that man of sin be revealed. I now I ask you a question: Who is the man of sin? <laughs> No, okay. we all we all I'm, don't I'm, know that. I'm gonna show you this right here because, like I said, you know, come on now, come I'm, on now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Wait, I'm gonna tell you. All right, okay, tell me. All right. Just go to Genesis 25. You already know where that. We can, okay. Yeah, I have we to know thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we all know who that Esau. is. Esau. Okay. So, I started. It, you know what I'm saying? I started. Like I said. It was an opening up. I read it when I was like 19, 20. I didn't understand nothing. Yeah. And then I went back again. Bro, I thought I was crazy. Yeah. But that's the when spirit. I start, when I started reading and started studying. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't went back to church. So you had no teachers, nobody, nobody, no. nobody helped you, nobody guided you through. Well, that's why you got a lot of homes. You know? I know, I know. You I still know. need you need to be fine too. Uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15 because we didn't learn none of this on our own I'm gonna be honest with you you know uh, as as the best I can break it down for you I, I can in no way break it down as uh, eloquent as my teachers right they so they've been doing this for 30 plus years you know and they got it to where look it don't matter what you go into they can break the 100% truth is what they got, right? So what we do 
is come out here and we try to answer questions to people who have a mind to receive understanding. Because everybody can't be like, everybody can't even begin to even deal with the Bible. Okay. First, like that's what the first question I asked you was, do you believe? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And another thing, I think right now, I might get wrong, but I think the rapture has begun. The rapture has begun? Nah. The end of the end is. The end times have begun. But end times have begun. Have begun. But no, the, the rapture, which what you mean when you, that's a doctrine, that's like a dogma of the Christian church. Okay, okay. when I say rapture, I'm not mean like being raptured up because I really don't believe. Well, we're going to be called up. We're going to that the way we're going to destruction. During the destruction, yeah, we. The, I, I think the, Lord willing. Let me rephrase. Let me be more precise. Lord willing, we. But we know that the Lord's elect, because we don't know if we are the elect, but Lord willing we are. So we speak as if, you know, sometimes that we are, but that's our hope. But the thing is, nobody knows who the elect is, but there's a work that the elect is going to be doing. So when you're talking about... I think it's 144,000. It's 100. That's why I call for Zechariah 13. Let's go there. Am I right? We're going we're gonna to get it. Zechariah 13. Y'all can not going to get it. This is, uh, what do you want eight. to say? Zach Zechariah 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass that, at, that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right, it's saying all the land, two parts shall be cut off and die. That two parts two -thirds. is two-thirds, right? That two-thirds is talking about two-thirds of the nation of Israel he's going to destroy. He's going to destroy two-thirds of his own people because they were wicked. Just like he did in the time when we came out of the land of Egypt the first time. He destroyed them because they they had no faith. They refused to, to hearken and listen to his word. He destroyed them. There's going to be a second and final exodus. Right? And this is this land right now, America, is the land that is speaking about. It's known spiritually and Egypt. Spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Spiritual Sodom and Egypt, right. You look around and see that. Yeah, you can see, yeah, that's most definitely. It's playing the day. Yeah. I was just talking about it. I was just talking about it. I was talking about it. to the point I said, straight men didn't need trouble because the guys will be with guys and the women will be with women and the straight men will be left out. That's why he said he left uh, Sodom and Gomorrah as an example yep. for, for those that would live godly and in that manner afterwards, right? Right. So the Lord said he's going to be... You know what Sodom is, right? Uh, what you want to call a boppy boy or whatever? It's a... Uh, <laughs> Sodomite, right? Yeah, well, Sodomite, right. Yeah. See, that's a spirit. That's like a homosexual spirit. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I hear a lot of people say it's a demon for them to be born again. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a spirit. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, well, it's a spirit. You got perverse spirits and you got holy spirits. And, that, and that, I think that comes from, uh, what's that, Romans 1? Yeah, we can get it. 26, we can get it. Let's finish reading yeah. Zechariah. And he gave the most we'll a violent affection or something yep. like that? Yep. yep. It says, yeah. but the third yeah. shall be left therein. The third is speaking about the elect. Right. The Lord is going to redeem a third of his people out because, of the earth. Because what I'm reading, he already done that be chosen. That's they, what I read. You That's said he already what? He already got his elect already. Yeah, they was uh, predestined from the beginning. From the right? beginning. Yeah. Okay. Like he did everything from the beginning. Do you believe like this right here, like oh, what it says? We like just that? waiting on his. We just waiting on his judgment to the, play out. And the, and the, the spirit, real, the spirit realm works faster than this time. I think. I think everything. I, everything already didn't happen. We just waiting on it to finish up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. I, um, I agree with you. Because he spoke everything in existence. In existence. Right, right. Yeah. I think um, he's waiting for the elect to get there, get themselves right. Well, that's what. Well, now they're not going to. They're not going to get their self right. Now I got to get right. But he said he could put. He's gathering. He's, he's, ga he's gathering them through his word. Right. right. Remember, everything goes back to his word. Right. He's gathering the elect through his word. Now, go back to Second Thessalonians. I know we're skipping around. Stay there. Uh, Go back to Second Thessalonians and read through eight. He's gathering his elect through his word. Keep that in mind. Go ahead. Verse four: Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped? He's talking about the man of sin, Esau, Edom. All right. 
And we know who Esau Edom is today. Go ahead. So that he is God, sit up in the temple of God, show himself that he is God. Hey, he sit in the temple of, of the Most High. Who was the Lord's temple? Who was his temple? Yeah. His, his, his people, right? So who has established himself in the earth? Who, what nation of people has established themselves in the earth as the Lord's people? Yeah, they 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 call themselves they call themselves Israel. That's in Palestine. Palestine, Israel. Yeah, this is a Jewish state. Right. Right. It was established in 1948. Right. We call them. We, we call them the uh, 1948ers. Right. I like to call them the Baffle Rights. That was, that was the... Uh, uh, that was, right. Was, the, oh, yeah, the Little Hats. Hitler, 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 they was in, in Germany with Hitler, right? And they put them in that land, right? Am I right? That that Holocaust? The Holocaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, believe yeah. that never happened. That was a... Yeah, that was, that, that was a... That was... It, it, it happened, but not... They, uh... It was propaganda. There's a lot of propaganda behind it. It was uh, it was it was embellished, extremely embellished. It wasn't even that many. It wasn't even the population. It wasn't even that many people living. This, they said they got uh, killed like that. This brother may know a little bit more detail. You should say something. Uh, I was gonna say like, yeah, the population thing. Like there's an encyclopedia that came out that took a population of Jewish people in Germany like five five years before that. And then, for in order for 13 million Jews to be so-called Jews to be uh, uh, burned at the Holocaust, they would have had to like triple their population or quadruple their population. So I mean, you know, it's in that amount of time. And even even uh, today's uh, technology, you go to get a loved one cremated after they die, they, they're going to say it's an all-day process. So how can they burn 13 million Jews in the span of like? You haven't been listening to no Israel, no Israel. Like. Now, I don't know this. Hmm. I see him just now, then we're going to see what they're about, right? Let me see what they're about. Okay. And hey, I want to the spirit you. definitely dealing with you because you, you, you have, you, you have uh, a knowledge outside of this world. Mm-hmm. Right. And the, it's only, and the only way I've ever known to get the knowledge is through. Yeah. I understand. Hey, let me through men. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. I understand exactly what's going on. Okay. I know I'm supposed to have a hat on. Mm. I know, um... Yeah, you teaching, you're supposed to have a hat on. No, I ain't supposed to have but, but you're not really teaching. you really just inquiring. Right, But right. it's still an honorable thing when you come before, even when you come before the sanctuary, right? When you come before the church, you're supposed to take your hat off. Right, right. 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 I, I mean, I but that's, that's, that's on you, you know? But, right. um, if, but if you feel, if I was you, if I was feeling convicted in the spirit about it, I'd just take my hat off. But, I mean, that's on you. <laughs> but go ahead. Come on. Let's keep going with these scriptures. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Hard, and now ye know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Right. Meaning that the wicked may be revealed in his time. Going all the way back to the serpent. Right. Because it was always, it said the mystery of iniquity doth already work. And iniquity is all right. Sin. sin, yeah, sin on top of sin, right? So, what uh, Apostle uh, Paul was saying. So, I got a question. I got a question. Um, yeah, let, let me finish real quick before you get your question. For the mysteries of iniquity do have already work. Right. Only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's talking about the Most High has allowed this man to work his iniquity as a mystery in the earth until a uh, point in time. That appointed time is now. The time of the revealing of the wicked is now. Just like the time of the revealing of the sons of God, right? Which you talk about that Romans 8 for the earnest expectation. For the earnest expectation of the preacher. Appreciate it though. But anyway, it said that the, it said that the uh, 
the world worthy for the uh, uh, groaning for the earnest expectation. Yeah, bring it out real quick. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. So the world has been waiting for since the beginning for this, this revealing, this revelation, right? Yeah. So yeah. now what's, what's, what's been happening <laughs> in the earth is the Lord, like you said, he's gathering his elect, bringing them back to the mindset and to the uh, understanding of who they are. Right, the sons of God are being uh, identified, and the sons of, of of wicked, the man of sin, is being revealed. So, so let me ask you. So, um, um, hold on, one more. Hold your question. I'm I no. Go back to Second Thessalonians. Let her finish. Then you got your question. I promise. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth. See, the, everything is being revealed by the word of the Lord. He say He's going to consume. With the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of the Lord's mouth is the prophets. They all it's always been men that he ordained to speak his word. That's why you got this whole book full of men that wrote it. Because they were inspired. Give me uh I promise this is it after this. Okay. Lord will. Give me give me you know what I want, uh Peter's. Yeah. Is it one and twenty? Yes, I'm doing. Uh, just, just how we speak the Lord's word. Go ahead, go ahead. Really, why he did that? And this then you got your question after we just. just this is Jeremiah one and nine. It says, "Then the Lord put forth His hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth." Yeah, that's that's the Lord's word. You know, you that's why we so adamant about when we speak, it's not us speaking. It's the scriptures that's speaking. But we just breaking it down to you. Because the way that you make the understanding come together of the narrative and the judgment of the Lord is you go precept upon precept, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. That's the code of the Bible pertaining to Isaiah the 28th chapter. Now go ahead, because uh, the spirit of the Lord's mouth is the prophet. Second Peter's 1 and 20, known this verse, no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. No prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. That's why when you read this book, it say the same thing throughout the whole book. Holy men of God. Right? Holy men of God. The prophecy. Go ahead and finish. It said, for the prophecy came not at all time by the will of man, but holy men of the Mosiah spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So that be going back to move. So, yeah. So, so um... Yeah, uh, Noah. Do you think, uh, this is a question I was saying, right? Okay, do you think that, <laughs> this, kind of, this might sound kind of crazy, but I'm going to ask you, do you think that we all been here spiritually before? Yes. yes. Go to you think it's re reincarnation all the way Ecclesiastes 1 and, and 9. And then I read it at. Because yeah. there's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. And what has been already, give me, already uh, was Give me Joel, give me, give me Joel where it says, if a man die, so yeah, yeah. Shelly live. Okay, go so ahead. So we've been here already. This, yeah, go ahead. We go. The scriptures tell you that. This go is ahead. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes one and verse nine. The thing that have been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. You can break yeah, it down. Oh, no, you got it. No new thing so, under you think, the sun. so you think? So you think the elect, that God elected? In the beginning, like Moses, you think Moses' spirit is still here? Yeah, the spirit just. You, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I, I, agree, I agree with that. Yeah, no new thing. That's what I was thinking. I, was, I mean, I don't have the full. I don't have the the full proof. It's just me, and I'm, I'm guess I'm going off what I'm thinking. You got that's the what, questions. That's, that's what you I'm got asking. questions. We got answers. That's what Go I'm ahead. asking. <laughs> we got we got another one. The second answer is fourteen and thirty-five. For after death. Shall the judgment come when we shall live again? All right, now give me Joel right behind it. If a man dies, shall he live again? Read that again. Just keep, hey, when we pause, just keep bringing the scripture out until you get the number. Okay, go ahead. This is Joel 14, verse 14. If a man dies, shall he live again? If a man dies, shall he live again? That's the question, right? Read your precept again. Second Hazard 14, 35. Precept upon precept. Right. Except for after death 
just judgment come when we shall live again. Stop. Read the precept. This is John 14 and 14. If a man die, shall he live again? Which was your question? Give him the answer. Yes. Give him the answer. But after death. Read the scripture. But after death. Read the scripture. Well, 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 oh, second Matthew 14 and 35. But after death, shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Yes. Did that answer your question? Yes. That's how you answer questions. Okay. Through the Bible. Okay. That, you know, like I said, like I'm, I'm reading and I'm like, am I reading? You, am I getting it when I'm reading or Isaiah is something else? You got, what you got? That's on Isaiah 14. Go ahead. This is first, go to Isaiah 28. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. This is First Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Mm. So you think we got a question? You think he you just think? said it? All right, yeah, he yeah, said he got, got a question. Now hold, 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 hold your question till he finishes. Till he finishes what he, what he say. Yeah. Keep your question in mind. <laughs> now finish yours. Do you think like okay, like uh, say like the spirit of Jesus Christ? <laughs> I know that's a deep. We, we spoke about me, that. We spoke so, about that earlier. But so, I, I got an idea what, what you're saying. I, but finish I, your question. I'm I sorry. Read, what I read is this right here. This right here. What I read and this what I see. Correct me if I'm wrong. When 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 Jesus when Jesus was um when Jesus when okay say Mary and Joseph right. Um, When you when Jesus Christ and Mary, when, okay, say Joseph and Mary got together, right? <laughs> and they had Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I really believe mm -hmm. that Jesus, well, Joseph was um the biological father of that Jesus Christ. You're right. He um, was. Um, he was about like this. That's why I hear what I read. Right. That's true. Um, and um, that's 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 scripture. And I think when they said, I want to say, um, I think what happened is that when I'm gonna put it, Jesus, when Jesus was born with Joseph and Mary, that's it. Because the Mary called called um. Jo Mary and Joseph's wife, right? Mary and Joseph what? He called um, Joseph Mary's wife when, when he was talking to her. He said, do not put away Mary thy wife. Right. Because what was conceived in her what was from the Holy Ghost. Conceived of the Holy Spirit. They conceived me. To take seed. Yeah. Sex or something. Conceived, okay. co conceived literally means to take seed. And so, when he spoke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I think... What um, Joseph did, because I really believe, I really believe like sex basically is marriage. Is marriage right? And then you sort of have the, the, the I, mean, I don't know. ceremony. I'm, I'm, I'm going on what I what I read. Go ahead, say what you're gonna and, say because um, I don't want to finish your, your, and, your um, words. And I think Joseph did um, one of the laws that um. You have to do in Exodus you, 22. Right, the, uh, the purification. Mary did the law of purification. No, no, that you're about. When, when Joseph and Mary was together, when he said, "What well, Exodus said, the he that betrothed the wife." No, um, he that um, say he um, something to a wife that is not betrothed and lie with her. He should sure have endowed her to be his wife. You talking see, about? You talking about if a man uh, take a woman? If she, if, if she is uh, not betrothed, not, even, not betrothed, but if she, as long as she ain't married, he's supposed to keep. If he labeled her, yeah. But nah, that ain't what happened though. What happened was when you dealing with Mary and Joseph, right? Uh -huh. What Joseph, Joseph and Mary was already espoused. It was set up in the Holy Spirit for Joseph and Mary's lineage and to you know come what? together. You know Hold on, let me finish. Okay. It was set up in the Spirit for Joseph and Mary's lineage to. Line up to give the birth of who the word is called Jesus Christ. All right? They both come directly from the line of David. King David. Okay? So the prophecy was for what? Let's go to Isaiah. Hear us out. I, give me Isaiah, is it seven? Yeah, Isaiah seven. Oh, you, oh, you want to ask this question? Okay, would you? I, I went over the, I went over all right, It's all good. You still got your question, my man? 
Yeah. All right, hold it on dick. Hold it on dick. Lord willing, we get to it. Yeah, here it is. There we go. It's Isaiah 7 and 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. Hold on. Say so what? Conceive meaning what? Take seed. Where does the seed come from? Man. Man, which is the sperm, right? The word seed goes in the Greek to the word sperma. Go ahead. It says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And, his, and, sh and shall call his name Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Which means God with us. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, butter and honey shall he eat mm -hmm. that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. Right. So that was the, that was the prophecy for Mary to conceive, right? Mm -hmm. For her to take seed and give, and give birth. And it also said that he would be what? Of the throne of the of the uh, 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 David. It's got two meanings. One 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 word virgin means a woman that's never had sex. Another one means it's two definitions. A young woman, a damsel. That's it. That's why you was trying to go to the law that's dealing with how you handle a damsel or a woman that's not betrothed. But Mary was a uh, betrothed. She was she was a spouse. It was already set up. See, Mary's father had already given, uh, they had already arranged for Mary and Joseph to be married. But they had, let's go, let's go to Matthew. It said, before they came together, she was found with child. That part where it says, before they came together, go to Matthew, go ahead, Kalali, but I ain't heard your voice tell me. Uh, Matthew 1 and 18. Matthew 1 and 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Meaning they was they was expecting the birth of the Lord, meaning it was on this wise, and it was and it's, it's telling you this is how it went. Okay, that way on this wise man. Go ahead. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph. What does spouse mean? Let's let's look it up. Real quick. Because we already know what it means, but cause 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 okay, if you, if you go back then, the father the father bear the daughter away. Given? Was that given? Who whoever got it, bring it out. Promise. The given or something? It says of a woman be engaged to There we go. You hear it? You hear it? Huh? Read. It says of a woman be engaged to a particular man. They were already engaged. Yeah. In the ancient times, marriages were set up, arranged. You, if you had a daughter, you was going to look well to her to her goings, right? To see who you was going to give her to. Because your daughter is your property. That's an asset, just like your wife. I got a real, I got a real big question. I know we'll Come on, you're going to have a lot of questions, man. <laughs> we got to get finished with this person. He didn't ask his question. He's still. <laughs> 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 it's like a buffet, man. Good, man. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm putting it that's together. Good, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm just messing with you, man. I'm trying to put it together. Go ahead. What y'all said about where a man lived again, somebody that was a Talking about the Lord, yeah. he's talking about the kingdom. He's talking about the kingdom. The kingdom yeah. Right we can live again. The kingdom gonna be right here. The kingdom gonna be on earth. Right. Kingdom means what? So, 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 hey, and he also so, said, so he also said that it's that. already prepared. Uh, Look, now you want to die with the Lord? Oh, 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 hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let him ask his question. Make it. Well, listen. Give me say Corinthians 5 and 10. This what you listen, listen. Hold on. Excuse me, brother. Can, can I get something for you? Because I understand where you're coming from. Because 
I, I used to think like that at, at a point in my life too. It was like, because if God's in the control of whatever happens, we shouldn't worry about what we, the death is in death. Death. Listen, listen. He goes to prepare a place for us, right? And we didn't chill, right? But, so we die, we but, know we but, guess what? Remember when he read? Right? Remember when he read? When, when you die, you come back, and you when you come back, you are judged. When you die, your spirit goes back to the Most High. You go before the counsel of the Lord. Give me Second Corinthians five. You know what I want. Yeah. Second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. So, when do we appear before the judgment of the Lord? When you die, your spirit goes back up to the Most High, and you are judged. What are you judged by? Go ahead. That everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Hold it. Stop. Give me Psalms. Hold on. Wait a minute. Give me Psalms 96 and 13. Right? This is Psalms uh, 96. So, and no, you shouldn't really worry about death. You should worry about how you live it. Go ahead. Psalms 96 and 13. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. So, how are you going to be judged? According to the Lord's word, his truth. If you don't live according to his word, you're going to receive a harsh judgment. Yeah. So now we ain't worried about death. We worried about life. Because yeah. our Lord already conquered death. But, hey, yeah. hey. Okay, I'm, okay, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> now, I don't see a lot of old people. My grandma, she lives in the old She lives in the old She's ready to get more old too, right? When, she, when it was her time to go, she said, I'm going to put on that white dress. I don't make peace with my Lord. Mm. Huh? What that? So she ain't even worried about judgment. Cause she already know I don't make peace what with my Lord. That's, 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 hey, that's the spirit. If the Lord gives you peace in your mind before death, that's a good sign. You know? Because at the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it said the Lord said he should have mercy on whom he has mercy. He's gonna have compassion who he have. Like we we can't uh, conflict with the Lord's like judgment demons. for anybody. We can't, listen, we can't intervene between the Lord and his judgment on anyone. The, inter, the intercessor, the uh, mediator, is Yahweh Shah, whom the world is called Jesus Christ. That's who, the, that's who the mediator is. So, how did they come up? No, 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 wait, wait. That was my point. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. I looked at it like this. I'm going to be 102. Yeah. She got married one time. Okay. She had four kids. Okay. She raised, raised grand, raised great grand, raised great great grand, married sister. Give me a second. And Give me a second. Yeah. Nine. So nine. the way I felt, like he seven. blessed her. Because of what she did, she lived. She she tried to live the right way. Right. And I think he blessed her, gave her more years of her life. Hey, well, you know what the scriptures speak about, uh, and I'm roughly and vaguely voicing the scripture. But basically, it says the way you live determines how the the, the, the way you live determines how long you live. All right, it, it, that's not how it's spoken verbatim, but basically, if, when you live a righteous life, you, your years will be prolonged. If you live wicked, you live wickedly, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, yeah, because it say what? The wages of sin is death. Yep. <laughs> hey, can we get one more scripture for you, don't on your because you hey and everything you were saying about your grandma, that's good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it really boils down to this. Her and God. It, 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 that and this is what the Lord requires. It don't matter what we do. At the end of the day, this is what it's based on. Go ahead. Second Marriage 9 to 7. And everyone that shall be saved. 
and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So you, it's all about faith just as much as it's about works. But it starts with faith. And you said she believed in the Lord. That's why she, those works, like those was good things. You said she was married one time, you know, because a woman only spoke, a, a woman is only supposed to be married one time. A woman is only supposed to have sex with one man. Anything you got aside of that, you are a whore, according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. If any any woman has been with more than one man, she's a whore. That's why the Lord looks at us as a whore. Because we spiritually committed adultery against the Most High, worshiping other gods, worshiping false idols. You know? But... He allows us to uh, repent through the grace and mercy of, of Yahweh Shah's only begotten son, right? To buy us back because we were sold uh, 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 to these other nations, right? And so he bought us back. Really, when it say we were sold to these other nations, what we did was we committed, we got in the bed with these other nations, gods, and they gods, and we went off. So the Lord had to come and fix that for us, you know? I got a he was the only one who was able to fix it. You got it, bro. I got a question. Uh-huh. You basically, you basically answered the question. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You basically answered the question. All right. Um, so you're saying that I'm going to say this right here. Um, I was in a long relationship for like 20 years. There were... Uh, Physically, I married, and we split. Now, the question I'm going to, and then all of a sudden, after we split, then I saw get this this light saw coming right here because I, you know, I'm like, okay, well, dang, I can split. I've been locked down since I've been 20, and I can have my phone. And here I am, in my own crib, and then I was, I would say the worst thing I'm gonna do was start get there and start reading the Bible because not comparing me. You know what I'm saying? The best thing you ever did was start reading the Bible. I said it could be the best and the worst, but it's the best thing. But for oh, what yeah. I had in mind, it didn't pan out because mm -hmm. you know I was like, okay, I got my freedom, I go out here and do what I want to do with women. But as I started to read, now I'm scared. You should be. And scared. let me say this right here. Go back to Second Corinthians it's, five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Five, 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 hold on. Hold your thought. Let's get some. Let's get some. Con let's get some content. You should. That's a good thing. That's the best. That's the best thing you can be. The best way to be is uh, afraid. To have fear. the best thing for you to have is fear. Go ahead. Yeah, cause we ain't finished it. It's um, Saint Corinthians five and eleven. Therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. See, therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Because why do we use terror to persuade men? Because fear, fear is what? What is fear? Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Fear is the whole duty of man. The whole, the whole reason that we are here is for the Lord to show his power. He, all the, the only reason that we hear, the only reason people, anything that you see, only reason you got eyes and ears right. is to understand the fear of the Lord. Okay. That's it. That's, hold on. Let, let, me, let, 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 me, let me break this down for you. Give me Sirach 21 and 11. And then give me Sirach 19 and uh, 18. I yeah. This part for us 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right, because see, the reason why people are fools and they, they make uh, decisions all right, that's not beneficial to their well-being and their life that cause them to suffer death and affliction and pain because they don't fear the Lord, yeah. right? I got you. So fear is the greatest thing. To, if the fear, of, when you say you start reading the Bible and the fear came, that's the greatest thing that ever happened to you. You're going to keep going. Go ahead. But you're lonely. Go ahead. <laughs> but you're lonely. You're lonely. You say you lonely? <laughs> yeah. That's that's right. Go ahead. But you're not though. I know what you mean, but you ain't getting no woman, man. That, hey, we gotta suffer. 
Proverbs 9 and 10. And the Lord say, uh, the love of the world, uh, love not the world. So because because uh, you love the Lord, the world gonna hate you. Right, right, right. Go ahead. This is uh, Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of his holy understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. People don't really like wisdom because wisdom comes with a price. See what I'm saying? People look at you as some type of holy freak. You know, it's all type of ways that they speak about men of the Lord. But this ain't nothing new. It's been going on from the beginning. You know? But they uh hey, it's a uh you ye that kill the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. I got I got um I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna finish up the press. I'm gonna finish it up. This is a this is a rock chapter 19, verse 18. Okay. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtained of his love. That's the first step of being the first step of being accepted. Now go to 20, 21. This is Sarah. No, 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 go ahead. Keep, you can keep reading down here. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Yep. And they that do these do these things that please him shall receive yep. the fruit of the tree of immortality. So that's what it's about. In the kingdom. Right. The, the way that you call get immortality is through fear of the Lord. So, so this right here is the situation right here. Okay, I, have, I got a homegirl with my best friends for 20 years. Right. And I already know the answer to this. But I want to hear it. I want to, I need to hear from something from ours. So, you know, your brother's trying to get him out. Now say that again. Okay. Start over with your You said you had a what now? I had a homegirl. We've been like real good friends for like 20 years. I, I know that I know the real answer to but I need to hear it. And it's I feel I, I feel like I know what the answer is from reading this study. You know what I'm saying? I read, I read. I basically try to get get in to read right. every day. I do really try. Um, what I've seen, I read, basically you know what the answer is, but you know sometimes it sounds good. Um, okay, but um she been married. All right, she was married, well, I'm going to tell you like three times. And well, now she, now she's separated, but, you know. So, at that situation right here, is she available for me to date? As long as she ain't dealing with a man? After she get divorced, she, she can get married again? Look, man, we under grace, right? So I understand what you're saying, but we under, we under, we under, we under grace. As long as it's, as long as you whenever you're dealing with a woman, as long as she's not dealing with another man, you can deal with. It. That's it. We, hey, according according to the law, we can't keep that anyway, 100. percent So there's grace. You know what I'm saying? If we were bound, if we if we were bound by the law, there wouldn't be no hope for us. Now. The, the, the spirit of uh, it'll be over with. The spirit of the scriptures is uh, Yahweh Shah, right. uh, uh, mercy, right? Now, I, I think he dealt with a woman, and uh, they was trying to stone a woman, or something, trying, to trying to condemn her, and he said he drew on the ground. He said, "Let uh, sin cast cast, cast, cast the first stone, right?" Yeah. Now. Just to simplify your answer, just to simplify your question with a simple answer, you can deal with a woman as long as she's not dealing with a man. Yeah. Yep. Because, go ahead. I was going to say, there's a story in the Apocrypha. The book of Tobit talks about how his son, Tobias, he went to go marry a woman who she dealt with seven men. She dealt with seven men. But seven really just means complete, so it's unknown how many uh, men she she been with. But the story, the, the significance of that story is that really those seven men before her, or before her, Tobias, wasn't meant for them because they all died once they got with her. And but most high wanted Tobias to get with her because he was from a righteous family, and they linked up. Those two families were righteous, where all those other men were wicked. And you know, Tobias went and exercised that demon off of her that was that was on her, that was killing those men. So, you know, with long story short, like the brother was saying, we're under grace. So everything happens for a reason. So, so long, long as she repent, 
Yeah, as long as she repents. It's yeah. Like, it's like we, we had to repent from, uh, you know, some brothers were, you know, committing adultery. They were sleeping around with other men's wives, which is all. But once you learn about the knowledge, wisdom, and the understanding, you try to keep it to the best of your ability. So you, brothers stop doing that. Yeah. Now they hear that they have a man. All right, uh, stop dealing with them. Yeah. Hey, and then to this, uh, this apostle Paul spoke about this. I want to touch on this point real quick. Don't worry about women. It says, he said, he said, it says women. apostle Paul said, uh, "Ye that have wives, be as though you had none." So we don't. We we got women. Some of us got women, but we don't worry about our woman. You know what I'm saying? Now we we know that it's comforting to have a woman. But it can also be very goddamn, uh, huh? <laughs> there you go. I was gonna say something a little harsh in the middle, but yeah. Probably, probably, uh, Paul didn't have no wife. Right. He didn't have one, right? Right. Nah. Yeah. 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 He just know they had none. So, I, yeah, yeah. The best thing for you to do, especially, hey man, just wait. Don't be looking for it, but if you get one, it's cool. But don't be looking for no woman, man. Hey, this, hey, matter of fact, uh, so what you do for sex? Hey, look. Huh? <laughs> I got a woman, I got a woman. I'm gonna tell you, hey, hey. I mean, if you, I mean, I mean, look. Look, man. You can sit on the toilet. Hey, hey, hey you'll get a woman, man. Two times. Go ahead, bro. Give him the page, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need to watch the apostles, man. Uh, Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. That's what we are. We're Great Millstone Israelites. Great Millstone. GMS is the acronym. You go on YouTube. This is where we record that on YouTube. Great Millstone well, Israelites. Not huh? I'm not on there. Oh, man, you ain't on there. It's just facing us. We ain't going to put you. If you don't want to be on there, we're going to put you on there like that. But you can, go on, you can go on YouTube, and you can get a lot of your questions answered. Just listen. I'm telling you. Because we, listen, we, listen, listen. We are in every major city in the United States. We are all around the world, different countries. And I, and listen, our I, 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 I apostle, he's the, uh, up top at New York. The our apostles, our teachers, our elders, the ones that taught every one of us, they are New York. They never, they never left New York and went on state to state to set up or across seas to set up. The spirit is working this. So the spirit is why y'all stopped here. We're trying to give you the, 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 uh, yeah, the information out. so that you can keep flowing and growing okay. in, in, in the spirit. But we we out here normally on Saturdays. If you ever want to come out here again. Uh, and, so here. Huh? South Carolina. Oh, uh, South Carolina. That's one of the uh one of the one of the one of the sharper elders uh, in Great Millstone in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yeah, that's where you come from? Myrtle Beach? Is it close to Myrtle Beach? Well, you can go, that's where they is, Myrtle Beach. Hey, matter of fact, give him the elders page. Listen, I want to make sure I get it. Uh, GMS. So let me ask you this right oh, here. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Hold the question. GMS Bible teaches and see. Give him this to the page. I got to ask a question to see if I'm right. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. You need to I'm going to ask this question. Listen, you will learn a lot more. I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to ask this question, Raggy. I'm telling you right, brother. Huh? You're telling you right, brother. Huh? Yeah. But come on, though. You've you been good, though. Come on, man. You've dealt with a lot worse, brother. Trust me. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to ask, ask this question. He's asking good questions, though. Go ahead. I'm going to ask this question right here. Awesome. Being that, being that in this world right here, yeah. and we know who we are, and you know who Whatever, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Are we in hell? Because I figured this is yeah. hell. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Hell is. A, Am I, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Hell is a condition, but some people are in heaven. Some people are in heaven. Is a condition. Hell is a condition. So, yeah. There's there's levels of, there's levels of heaven. There's levels of heaven and hell. According to how you're living determines whether you're in heaven or in hell. But the Lord's people are in, all the Lord's people are in hell right now. Like, pretty much captivity. I can't understand how it's not with people here. 
Because Mercy. from the beginning of the Bible, and this ain't gonna ask no pastor. This goes, man, he's jerking the child. You, you still go to church? Hey, no, I ain't gonna oh, okay. five years, man. Good job, good job. Um, I asked this, I asked him, I said, Pastor, I got a question. They don't got no answer. <laughs> he said, he said, yeah, yeah, what's up? I said, oh, when Moses left the children of Israel the land of Egypt. He said, yeah. I said, and they crossed the Red Sea. He said, yeah. I said, where are those people today? Mm. He said, there ain't no more. I said, oh, okay. Mm. But I'm telling yeah, you. See, yeah, we just talked to you about reincarnation, right? You come back. Everybody comes back. And then I, then I, then I start reading. Bro. That's why I see a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, you got, got an ideology of what you only live Bro, once, I'm right? right here. They think they think they think that it, this life is the end all the be all. This mm -hmm. is rough, man. That's that's YouTube. I, I see this right here. Yeah, hey, keep that. Hey, keep that, man. Go on YouTube. I, I, keep I that. See, I just say it right here, man. It's life. Once you, yeah. Once you study, <laughs> you ask for ask God for peace. They don't really care what you ask for. When they open up. So you ask for what? Ask for God to vision. show you the vision. Show your vision. And give you that knowledge. Yeah. You. And and I'm saying about me. I'm not saying about you guys. Yeah, yeah I understand. I was like, Dad, you got to be careful with that. God for when he opened it up. Or you going to have the discipline of wisdom to know how to handle when you find out where you at. Right. And that was my biggest thing. I still fight it right now because I have no, I have no body to, to talk to. Got us to talk to. You just tied a whole, you had a whole hour conversation with like, okay. him. We got the brother, he gave us brothers, man. Bro, and I was sitting on the couch. Hey, we know exactly what he's saying. I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna sit on the couch. I'm gonna watch the TV. And uh, I throw those off in the streets. Like, and like, I see the doors open. And like, hey, I need you to do this and walk through this door. I said, I tell you no lie. Give me John 14. You know what I said? Hold on, let me sit right here. You know what I said? You know what I said? Okay, we get ready to close up anyway. You know what I said? What you say? No. No way. I said, I wasn't going through that door. And guess what, what happened? What happened now? I was, I was, I was sitting, I'm sorry. I was sitting on the couch. You're sitting on the couch. I was watching TV. Watching TV. I had my Bible right there on my table. Uh huh. And I was like, this now. Doze off. Doze off. And I was like, just right here, and I see the doors open. And like, the spirit was like, walk through those doors. And I said, I wake up, I said, God, no, I can't handle no more. Can't handle no more. And guess what? I got laid off next week. Hey, but you know what? I lied to you, I not, tell you man. This. I refuse to go. I tell you. I because tell you. what happened. I tell you this. My mind was like, I can't handle it. I tell you this. But it sounds like your dream. Listen, listen to me real quick. Real quick so we can wrap up. It sounds like what the scriptures say in the dream is man's goings are of the Lord. So it don't matter about what you want to do. If your spirit already programmed to do what the Lord wants you to do, you're gonna do it. Matter of fact, let me put it in more, let me put it more plainly. Whatever the Lord has programmed your spirit to do is what you're gonna do. See, you the, the door that you're talking about, it's a scripture in the Bible that talks about the Lord opening and closing the doors, which I I, I can't quote it. No, yeah, no man can open or close but the Lord, right? Oh, wow. So you ain't got that? You wanna read it? Yeah, oh, that's me. Because right. that that's what I'm saying. I was on the couch. Like, I, see, I said, I said, Joseph, you know I refuse. You said what in Revelation? Oh, Joseph. Your name Joseph? Yeah. You know what your name means? He will add. He will add. Yeah. He will add. <laughs> Y'all will suck. Uh, he will add. He said. He said. Yeah. That's your, your, hey, your name fits you perfectly. Right, right, right. Go ahead. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 8. Revelation I, 3 and 8. I know thy works. I know thy works. Behold. Behold. I have set before thee an open door. I set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. The door is talking about the, under, the understanding. This the, the door. Think he's dealing with me? Yeah, he's yeah. dealing with you. We know he's dealing with you. Because you, you don't understand. You, know. you ain't understand. Yeah, why can't you shoot me? That's why you're moving yeah. the women yeah. away yeah. from me, too? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Yeah. Yeah. Casting yeah. them out. Yeah. 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 Hey, I, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you this. Jonah didn't want to go there. You know the story about Jonah and the women? I read that. Jonah said, no, I'm not going to Nineveh. I said, no, I'm not doing it. 
Well, you I really can't tell the Lord no. I yeah, said no. Right. I can feel. Yeah, right, hey, man. can I get this real quick? This is uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Hey, that one your path it. was already set, man. You know what I did? I said, I wake up, I look at TV, I close the Bible, I said, Lord, no. Can't do it. <laughs> I got laid off two weeks later. Appreciate it, brother. All right. Hey, hey, Shalom. Right. Shalom. Peace to y'all, brother. Shalom. Okay, right. Hey, good talk. Right. Lord, Lord, hey, hey, Lord, will y'all find uh Lord, right. will y'all find the elder down there in, in Murder Beach, South Carolina, man? Okay. Tell you, he's strong in these scriptures, man. You think he's, I might be that one, that one powerful elect waiting on him. Huh? I might be that one elect. Yeah, right. Might be. Tell Lord me, willing. Yeah. Tell you the dreams I'm having, bro. Hey, but you say, you got to work the work. You got to work the work of the elect. Yeah, yeah you got to put on like, yeah. I just don't even talk to nobody about it. I just yeah. keep it to myself. So this, this, from this day forward, right, you, you need to keep your faith focus on the Lord. Like, don't be worried about women or none of that. I know you're a man, you're going to want a woman, but don't focus on it. It's going to come. Well, I'm about to whip my toilet bowl out, bro. Ha <laughs> 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 hey, ha! Hey, you got to get your rocks out however you can, bro. But look, yeah. listen. <laughs> listen, man. Get in this. This the woman right here, man. Get in, get in this. Get in this. Get in this word, man. Get in this word. Hey, everything else going everything else going to come, man. But hey, I it will behoove you to find the elders in South Carolina. No, the brother, North, Carolina North Carolina, South Carolina. But he said he in South Carolina, he but an hour away from you know what I'm saying? Hey, so like hey, a, his like page, listen, 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 listen. Is y'all church or Do me a favor, listen. His page is uh we wrote it down, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on there. Bible teach GM, GMS Bible Teachers SC7. That's one of them. He got like three pages. I know we go down at least what two of them. He got one. I gave him the elders. I gave him my page. I gave him the apostles, and then I gave him the brother in South Carolina. Okay, so look up the elders and in, in the in the brother yeah, in South see, Carolina. You got, you got a page? Yeah. This you, this GMS Memphis. 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 This G, this GMS Memphis. This what gonna kind be of page you talking about? YouTube. a YouTube page. Yeah, you got you got it in your YouTube. pocket, bro. YouTube. YouTube. Uh, yeah. You got it on phone, yeah. Hey, you can just go on YouTube GMS South Carolina. I tell you what, let's get John 14, we're gonna close out and then we'll we'll hook it up on your phone before you go. Yeah, yeah I, so whatever y'all else y'all got, bring it out. We're gonna close on John 14 and uh John 14 and started uh 12. Started 12. It's John 14 and 12. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall you do also. See? Oh, you heard that? Say again. Read that. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Right, so that's why we're doing the work of our forefathers going all the way back to your house shop. Right? We must work the work of him that sent us, man. Go ahead. Just like your house shot did. Go ahead. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 13, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Right, so it say the same thing works for us. Whatever we ask in the name of the Lord, as long as it's to glorify him, he'll give it to you. So you talking about a woman, if it's meat for you to have a woman, he gonna give you a woman. But you don't want just any woman. Yeah. So you, you, want a, yeah. you want a woman that's gonna comfort you and help you uh, glorify the Lord. So you think he's gonna clean everything out? We didn't get the right one. I'm not gonna say what he's gonna do, but I know he will. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We're uh, gonna end verse, on 16. Verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's why I say the first thing you need to do, bro, please ask you 12 and 13. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. That's the purpose of man on life. That's the purpose of man. We brought it up, though. You want to do it? Verse 16. Go ahead. This is Mark 10 and 29. It says, And Yahweh shot answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, mm -hmm. 
or children or lands for my sake and the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. So you gotta make that sacrifice. You gotta make that sacrifice in order to in order to uh obtain the increase. Right? Because now what we're doing is we're sacrificing all that we have to obtain the kingdom of heaven. You think there's no flock of my sheep right here? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hey, let, 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 us, let us finish John, and then we gonna we gonna we gonna get you set up on YouTube, man. Lord, yeah, willing, he got it. You know, All right, So uh, yeah, I got. I, I see this now. I got you. You got YouTube? Okay. G M S Memphis. Yeah. Go ahead. I see you guys. This John fourteen and sixteen, and I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter that He may be that He may abide with you forever. Right. So. The woman that you want to have is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. That's the com that's the, the comforter is the understanding of these scriptures. Can't no woman give you this. Can't no can't no physical woman give you the comfort of these scriptures. Right? So with that. Hey, so with that, hey, Lord willing, this will edify a lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give our praise and honor glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakadash. I double honors to the elders, apostles, and GMS, and salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, look at the brother in South Carolina, man.